I should have put you somewhere with no defiance. Mansion I done speaks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different environment. Cause you had desires. I know, I know. Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. The company we'll be working with today is Reshine Hair. Let's first get into the goodies. They sent us up with this beautiful 28 inch body wave 613 13 by 4 transparent lace wig. Make sure you check the description box below for more information and links on this hair. So for our custom color today, we're doing like this enchanted forest green type color. So first what we must do is use our Kiss Temptation Limelight with some hot water and do the watercolor method. That's the first color we're going to dip the wig in. We're going to use the Kiss Temptation Limelight. I used about three bottles of this and you want to dip them separately for each bottle. So I put one bottle in the water at a time, dip it, add another bottle, dip it again, and then add another bottle and dip it again. But I only showed me doing it twice on camera. So you just wanna dip the wig in the water and continuously just brush it with your paddle brush until all the product is evenly distributed. And you wanna keep doing it till you get a full even coverage of like a lime green color. wig is now lime green so now it's time to dip it in our next color our next color is kiss temptation sapphire we're gonna do the exact same put it in um some hot water and we're gonna dip the entire wig in there this blue is gonna give our green the tint of green that we want it's gonna take it from lime green to that like forest e chanty type vibe um so that's exactly what we're gonna do you're gonna watch it transform right before your eyes
Now our Echetti Forest Green hair is done. It's time to rinse it out with cool water. Make sure you're using the coldest water that your faucet can go. And then we're gonna use our silicone mix bamboo. This is like a reparative uh, treatment. And we're gonna put this all over the wig, brush it through. Um, and you can let it sit overnight. You can let it sit for five minutes or you can rinse it right off. I think I ended up just rinsing this uh, right off. Um, yeah, and make sure when you rinse it, you rinse it with cool water as well. What I didn't let you all know in the beginning was I did add an extra 28 inch bundle in this wig just so we can have a more voluminous look because the style I'm doing today, I need it to be, you know, um, thicker than normal. So I did add an extra bundle into this wig. And everybody always asks, I always get my extra bundles and stuff off of Amazon, you know, because it, it don't be that serious. It's just an extra bundle. It's not the entire wig. So I just get them right off Amazon. So now it's time to install the wig. We have our beautiful Muse Yummy. Let's get into it. I'm using the darkest shade of the level 14 or 12 palette. I've already put it on the underside and now we put it on top. Now we're gonna spray that free spray all over that lace just to combat that oiliness in the makeup. And we're just gonna blow dry it a little bit and then we're gonna position the wig on and get it started. So now I'm applying my glue. We're only gonna do two layers today because Miss Yummy doesn't like to wear her wigs that long. And I don't wanna have, you know, too much grip to where, you know, it's kinda hard to take off. Uh, I'm gonna show you me putting the glue on both sides and smoothing it back. Make sure that each layer turns clear before you apply another one. And we'll come back when that last layer is dry. Now it's time to lay that lace down and once you press it in with your comb, you're gonna go ahead and blow dry, interchange it between warm and cool air for about a minute. So now we're about to separate the hairs that I know aren't going to be uh, glued down. We're gonna rip those out the plastic cause they've been acting brand new. And we just gonna, you know, pull them out two strands at a time. <laughs>
Now it's time to secure that lace with our ultimate melt band and we're gonna leave it tied down for about 10 minutes. Our 10 minutes are finally up, so now it's time to cut off that excess lace. And don't be afraid to tap that lace with some extra makeup if it's not blending um don't go too crazy just yet because we haven't melted it down yet but you can add a little bit okay and now we're gonna finish uh cutting that other side off camera so now we're taking our wax stick and our hot comb and we're just gonna smooth that top down our style for today is a center part with some body curls So right now I'm taking my red can even spray and we're just smoothing back that hair um, back from the hairline. Today we're doing a no baby hair look so that's why I'm doing this first. And then we're bringing out our old faithful hair flex um, from Straight Request Hairspray. And we're going to spray that all over her hairline and then we're going to tie it down with our ultimate milk band. So for the layers today, we're just doing a simple layer. We're just gonna take that hair and um, put it up against her chin and start slicing diagonally with our razor comb. It's gonna end up making the wig in a V cut. I'm doing this because we want the layered look. You know, we want the face frame and curls, but we wanna keep a lot of the weight and a lot of the density. So we're not gonna add interior layers like how I normally do. Um, you can do this if you don't like cutting your wigs a lot, um, or if you just like a really full look just know that without cutting interior layers um your curls tend to drop quicker um and it gives a more heavier look but you know when you add layers it's just more flowy more you know whatever but that wasn't the look we were going for today we were going for like a simple you know long curled look but we just wanted the face to be framed i typically do this on my longer wigs like 28 inch 30 inch 32 inch you know whatever um so yeah and now we're just taking our t3 1.25 inch single pass curling iron and we're gonna curl this hair on up
Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on his head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who no those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation isn't flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. In the dirt that they do on my name, turn to soil and I grew up about it. And once you're done pin curling the hair, make sure you spray it with some Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray. I'm also going to show you how I curl this front curl in the front. Y'all say I never show y'all, um, but I literally just do it like the back. Um, but I want to show me curling it and pinning it. So now we're going to take our pin curls out and I'm going to show you how I mold the hair to just get that get that perfect finishing look and how I use my no bend hair clips that I got off Amazon. Just stay tuned to see how I take it from, you know, Shirley Temple to, you know, bad bitch. <laughs> And don't forget, add some concealer or some powder in that part so we can see it. And now it's time to comb those curls out. And I'm going to show you the side that, you know, we perfected. And then I'm going to show you the other side that's just, you know, just doing his all up thing. <laughs> and then we're going to show you the finishing style right now. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. I want to thank you all so much for kindly watching. Make sure you check the description box below for more information and links on this wig. And make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I got more heat dropping soon. Goodbye.